Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the Supreme Modules plugin. We've been doing a few of these lately. And we're going to do this great image to text reveal on Hover. And again if somebody's rolling down your site their mouse rolls over that they're going to be looking at it. So it's a great thing to have, really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And let's just get rid of this module. I've got a row, or I've got a section with a row with two columns. And I've got this in my first column here, so let's get rid of that. And we'll add a new one. Divi comes by standard with all these light grey modules. When you add the Supreme modules, you get another 40 or so of these dark blue ones, or these purpley looking ones. Fantastic addition. So the one I want today is Supreme Image Text Reveal. Just left click on it and it'll load it in there for you. By default, it puts that sort of greeny overlay in there and a little bit of text for you and a placeholder image. So let's go and get the image we want. It opens up and prompts you to do that first thing. When you put your image in, you can put your reveal text, what you want it to reveal afterwards. If I hover over it now, you can see that's popped up right there. Okay, so let's move on down. If you want to link your module to something, if you're advertising a sale or something, you put your URL in there. If you're linking to a, a different website or something not on your site, you might want to link it in a new tab so you, your site remains open. I'm not going to put a background or an admin label in today, simply just don't need it for this demo. Great, so we've got our image and we've got our text, let's customize it now to how we want it. We'll go up to our design tab, to the overlay, like I say it's got that colored overlay on there, change it to whatever color you wish. There we go. And we can move on down. Don't need to align it anywhere. It's perfectly fine where it is. It won't make a whole lot of difference for our image right here. Let's go on to our reveal text. And like any other text module, you can change the size of it. You can make it bolder. Capitalize it if you want to. And of course, change the color. Make it a little bit bigger. Maybe a bit too much. Make that a nice light blue color instead. There we go, that's a bit better. Letter spacing obviously is the distance between the letters, don't want to change that. Line height won't make a lot of difference in our case here because it's distance between what's going to come above and below. Since this is one line that won't make any difference. We can add a bit of box shadow or text shadow I should say just to help it stand out on that background a bit, that's fine. So we're pretty good to go. Sizing, spacing I don't want to do anything to. Again because it's a fairly dark image on a dark background. I'm going to do this sort of neon border trick. So let's put a small border on there. We'll just make it one pixel all round. Take that up to one pixel. I'll give it the same color as our overlay, which is that purple. That helps it stand out. Now if we give it a bit of box shadow, but use the same color, it'll give it an almost neon glow on the back. So I'm going to use this shadow don't see anything there now because the shadow is dark. Let's change it to our purple color. 
There we go, and you've got a bit of a neon glow behind, which I think is a quite nice little touch on a dark background like that. Don't want to do filters, don't want to tra do transform, but I will do animation because we've got a load of animations to choose from, and the animations are what happens to this text when it comes in. You can have it fade in, you can have it rubber band. There's all kind of different ones. Go through, choose the one that you like. And when you're happy, we're good to go. And that's the whole module taken care of there. So let's save our changes. Save our page changes. And exit the visual builder. Let's go down and take a look. And there we go, there's our little image to text reveal on hover. Like I say, if somebody's scrolling down your page and their mouse goes over that, they're going to be looking at it. So that's pretty cool. So that's another nice little feature from Divi Supreme modules there. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.